Hi, my name is Dr. Kate Egan, and I am here to orient you to our course, which is Wellness 760, an introduction to holistic health um, and all things integrated medicine, etc. So um, I am going to orient you to Canvas, particularly in this particular video, and just show you where to find all the material you're going to be needing to find to successfully um, complete this course. So you've probably already um, seen this page because you're watching this video, but if you haven't, this is the course homepage. It has information about the course, it has my own personal contact information, my email, which is the best way to get me, which is eganc at smccd.edu. That phone number is my cell phone number, which I am a little hesitant to give out, but because I am an online instructor at Skyline College um, and I am not on campus physically, it's hard for me to give you an office number because those are on campus. So I have provided you with my cell phone number. I would ask that you um, use that, you know, in cases of emergency. And if it's not an emergency, if you'll just send me an email or save your, your question for our um, weekly conference, which I'll talk about in one moment. All right. So a little bit about me. I am a part-time instructor at Skyline. I've been teaching at your school now for, I believe, a little over two years. I teach full-time at another college in Southern California. I teach in the biological sciences. I teach uh, currently physiology, pathophysiology, pharmacology. I've done basic biology, anatomy and physiology, uh, botany, I've done a lot. But that's what I do now. Um, I'm also a practicing naturopathic doctor. I practice functional medicine. And as a naturopathic doctor, I use a lot of different modalities. And so this class is fun because it gives us an opportunity to kind of um, learn about a lot of these different modalities, what they are. Some of you may be familiar with some of them, some not any of them. Um, there are a few things that we talk about in this class that I really wasn't very well versed in either that I've kind of been researching to, to put this course together over the last few semesters. Um, but it's fun. We get to touch on a whole bunch of stuff. We don't get a lot of de depth and I, you know, I'm not an expert in all of these subjects, obviously. Um, I am, am an expert in naturopathic medicine and functional medicine because those are the two parts of this that I do. Uh, however, um, we get to talk about lots of stuff. So this is a great class to, to give, especially in this day and age, right? There's there's a, a lot more interest in this kind of complementary, I don't like to, I don't really like to use the word alternative, um, this sort of complementary space. And they're, from my perspective, like the ideal healthcare uh, system would incorporate, or at least allow for those that are interested to incorporate a lot of these different healing modalities because they all bring certain tools to the table. And um, I think the value in a course like this is to, to introduce you to some of these practices and, and whatever resonates with you, um, that might be something you consider you know, introducing into your own care or, or, or some of you are looking for different careers, you know, you're know, interested in examining what sorts of options there are outside of the sort of more conventional route. So that's the kind of stuff we're gonna talk about in this class. I think I'm pretty well suited for this because I teach it in the biological sciences, but then I also, you know, I teach pharmacology, which is all about drugs, but then I'm a naturopathic doctor, so it's kind of a, this, I always say it's like this crisis of conscious that I have, you know, lots of my hand and lots of the both sides of the fence, if you will. Um, so it, it's, this has been very enjoyable. I taught a class like this at Chapman University um, a few years ago and in a face-to-face -face format and it was, it was such a great class, one, probably one of the most fun classes I've ever done. Um, so we're, we, and Dr. Wimmer, many of you know Dr. Rhonda Wimmer um, from Skyline. Uh, we've been colleagues for many years and friends and we both taught that class at Chapman and it was, it's just been, it was just very fun. So we're, we're, we took our show on the road and here we are in in the online virtual space trying to give you guys this information. So my screen looks a tiny bit different than yours because you see this pink line that's um, just to tell me that I'm in the student view but this should this should be what you guys are seeing 
Um, you can scroll down. There's a little bit more. I just told you this. This is my baby, my furry baby. I have an actual baby. Well, not a baby anymore. A six foot five um, college student as well who's in his junior year of college and is currently studying in Germany. Um, actually, he's leaving for Germany, studying abroad this term. So sometimes you'll see, I put the dog there because um, when I record these lectures, oftentimes you'll see this dog who is hard to tell in that picture is an Irish wolfhound. She stands about six foot three on her hind legs. And so when she walks by the computer, the camera, you know, she's at about my head level. So uh, you'll see her. And, you, and if you don't see her, oftentimes because she is uh, very attached, you'll oftentimes hear her breathing heavily in the on the microphone, which I'm sorry for that, but that can't be helped because she's always at my feet. Okay, so we are going to continue on. So you've probably already seen this page and you're watching this video, so we don't need to spend much time here. We're going to click on to move to our syllabus. Here's our course syllabus. Um, it gives you all the information that you need for the class. It tells you that the, there, so there's not a, a required text, but there's a pretty good recommended text. I, this is a hard subject to find good textbooks for. Um, and one of the better ones is that uh, Guide to Holistic Health, Healing Therapies for Optimal Wellness. Um, so if you're gonna buy a textbook, that would be one, but you're not required to, and I don't really think it's necessary for this particular course. But if you want to, that would be a good one to get. We're gonna look at a bunch of, like I said, this course is described, and I'm not going to read to you this entire document, but we're going to touch on a whole bunch of stuff this semester. Um, we call these CAM therapies, called complementary alternative medicine. Um, oftentimes we'll use the word CAM has been uh, replaced by integrative therapies. Either one of those are appropriate. Um, so we're going to talk about a bunch of them, and I'll sort of run you through the schedule in a moment. Um, every week we'll take on a new subject, and you'll have discussions or questions, and sometimes quizzes that pertain to the information. So you're going to have four exams. Um, they'll be 50 points apiece. This is not designed to be a stressful class. This is not supposed to be like a huge amount of academic rigor. It's, this is an elective course. I want to, f I, my, if I didn't have to give you exams at all, I, I would prefer that. Um, my goal is to, to introduce these topics to you. Um, historically, we have in the course lots of different types of students, many of whom have in the past, you know, been professionals in one of these potential subjects. And if that is the case, you know, definitely let us know right away because um, we can we can lean on you in the, in, when we get to that particular topic. Um, if there's a topic that you don't see discussed that you're really interested in. Um, let me know, and if I can, I will do my best to kind of work it in. Um, but that being said, this isn't supposed to be super rigorous. So, you know, when you take your tests, you're certainly welcome to use your notes, you're welcome to use your lecture outlines, whatever to make this more successful for you. Um, you're going to be doing some discussions oftentimes, and this is a great way for us to share information. You know, these are lots of different topics, and so for some of us, that's like brand new information, you know, and for others of it's not. So if you if you are really interested and or if you're an expert, definitely let people know that and, and let's have some discussion. That's the way I, online classes can be challenging to stay sort of engaged in. And I find that they're more engaging if we're more active on these discussion boards. So I would encourage you definitely to do that. Um, if you're gonna with if you if you are planning on withdrawing from the course course, please be sure to do that through WebSmart. I'll give you the dates. Actually, I'm gonna tell you right now. The last the po last possible day today to withdraw from the class is November 14th. At that point, you will not be able to get a W in the class. So you want to make sure that you're if you're not planning on staying in the class, make sure you drop yourself prior to that date. Um, I do try to pay attention to who's not participating, but. Um, sometimes that's challenging uh, because students in an online class, sometimes somebody will sort of disappear for a week or two and then they'll reappear. And if I dropped you when you disappeared, um, then it becomes kind of a headache and, and sometimes it's impossible to get you back enrolled. So um, I try to email, communicate with you by email if it seems like you're not participating and ask you like, you know, I haven't seen anything from you in a while. Are you planning on dropping? Maybe you should drop. But um, 
the best thing to do is just to do that on your own. And if you do decide to drop the class, I would appreciate it if you would send send me an email to say, hey, I'm sorry, I have to, I, my schedule got too busy or whatever, or this class isn't for me, um, and just let me know. And that way I'm not, I'm not wondering about it. Uh, there is a Disability Resource Center at Skyline College. I provided you the number and the link to the website. If that's something that you feel would be helpful for you, please take advantage of it. Um, your uh, academic integrity is of utmost importance to me. There really isn't any real need to be dishonest academically in this course. Um, if you're not sure what that looks like, you can go ahead and um, check it out, that, that link, and that will help you there. All right, um, sorry, I just I was halting because I'm hearing a weird noise come out of my headphones from my phone. I can't quite figure it out. All right, so clicking down, this is our course schedule. So basically what's gonna happen every week, starting on uh, this coming Sunday, which I believe is the 19th, you're gonna see a new module appear. Every week we'll have a different topic. I'll show you where that's gonna be in a minute. These are the due dates of things. So these are the things that are gonna be due and when they're due. This becomes more obvious when you're in the middle of the module. All of these assignments are embedded in the modules. So you'll get to the end of the module and those will be a discussion. You'll access it there, complete it. But these are, these are things just to kind of give you an idea of what's coming up. On Canvas, on the right side of your screen, if something is due soon, it will show up there again just to kind of keep you on track. All right, so here is the course. Oops, I didn't post the new one. Um, actually, I didn't do that this semester because we have it on the previous page. So the course schedule will be updated here. I forgot to put the new one there. Um, so you'll have your course schedule, which is just basically, it's the same, it's just going to be the dates are different, right? So these are the weeks, actually it's just like this, it's just the weeks, this will be fall of 2018. Um, so you can see the sorts of things we're going to be talking about. You can see when the exams show up, Canvas assignments, discussions, etc. So those are the things that you're going to be expecting to have happening. And then, we'll continue going on, here's our home page, which is basically this module page. Let me go here. This is an easier place to see. So when you come in here, this is our this is where all the modules are. And you can see they're divided by weeks. This is what you're going to do this first week. This first week, you're just going to go through, you're doing this already, the welcome to the course video. You're going to, um, these are things to see how ready you are for an online class. This guides you through Canvas and questions you might have about Canvas. These are your course expectations. This is course communication expectations, technical requirements for Canvas, and finally, your student introduction. So your student introduction is locked until um, the first day of the semester, which will be the 15th of August, but um, you're gonna see a prompt here that will basically be for you to introduce yourself, what's your interest in the course, any expertise you might have. Um, so you'll submit that and then you'll also, to get the entire points, you're gonna also then um, comment on at least two other students. So again, this is just our get to know each other week. We figure out what kinds of people are in the class. You know, this is the best we can do in an online setting. So I would I would encourage you to, you know, really have some fun with this and, and give, people, give us all information about ourselves. You already have the information about me. Okay, then starting on um, Sunday, August 19th, you'll have your first con week of content. And I kind of do some introduction videos, what is complementary alternative medicine, etc. And you're going to watch a film, which is linked here. I have to say the quality of the film isn't great because I had to find it on YouTube, but the content is good. Um, it's called Escape Fire. You can rent it from Netflix if you have Netflix. Unfortunately, you can't... And last I checked, you can't stream it instantly. I haven't looked on Amazon Prime video streaming. Maybe you can for them. But it's a kind of a good film, and um, it's real interesting, and it has to do with this particular topic. And then there'll be a discussion. That's what you're going to do next week. Then from that point on, um, we 
have, you know, diff there's content's going to show up every Sunday. And these things that are blacked out, that's because they're not available yet, they'll show up and then you'll just kind of navigate through them. The, there, there are lecture videos every week. You can see that it says lecture videos and in there there'll be one, two or three depending on the week. I try to keep them you know, to around half an hour at the most. And those lecture videos are me talking to you about whatever the topic is. Then oftentimes they'll have, we have outlines, especially when there's long lectures. Um, you'll have outlines that you can follow along if you want to. Um, and then there's assignments and other sort of pertinent information. So you can sort of see we talk about, um, you know, just the topic in the first two weeks. Then we're going to dive in and we're going to talk about osteopathic medicine, chiropractic, naturopathic medicine, functional medicine. Then you'll have your first exam and during week seven. The exams are available for you for an entire week. But once you start the exam, you have to finish it. Um, it's in one setting. Uh, then after that, that first week we take our exam, that week seven we take our exam, then we're going to start to look at Eastern philosophy, traditional Chinese medicine, we'll spend a week on that, some of the other Chinese medicine modalities um, like acupuncture, qigong, etc. Um, then we'll talk about Ayurveda, then we'll have our exam, the next exam, then we're going to talk about chakras, yoga, homeopathy, then we'll have a, a week 15 we have um, another exam, and then we start to talk about mindfulness that week. And then we dive into week 16, body work, 17, nutritional medicine, and then we'd have our final exams. So that's the lay of the land. That's what we're going to do in this particular course. It's super fun. Um, and I hope, I really hope that you enjoy it. I would love to hear feedback as we go. Um, like I said, I'll do my best to get back to you on email as quickly as possible. Um, within a day, I usually check my email in the morning and then I check it again at night. I do have some, some, a few days during the week that it's just like super compressed. So on those days, I might only get it to it once or twice. So, um, so if you have a little bit of a delay, please cut me a little slack there, but I will do really do my best to get to you as quickly as possible. Um, office hours can be by appointment on this. We can do conference videos like this. Um, I'm experimenting with just having an hour a week where I'm just kind of sitting at my computer on a conference call. So for all of my students, so that is something we'll play around with. And once my schedules for all of these schools sort of settle, you guys go back to school a couple weeks earlier than my other school, um, I will pick that day and time. And so you'll, so you'll at least have something that you know you can get me at that particular time. Short of that, I look forward to sharing the semester with you. I hope you have a very good week, first week, and I will be checking in with you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day.